Over the last 72 hours, mass amounts of fear have come into the crypto markets on the back of Chinese news and the American stock market tanking. But in this video, I want to reassure people that we are still on track for this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency bull market by revealing a hidden Bitcoin bottoming pattern. Now, I know that sounds like a big claim. We will go through it. There is some logical steps to it. So I have hyped up the video. Let's see if it plays out to your expectations. And if it does, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stick around till the end of the video and you can click on these playlists to learn more about cryptocurrency, including things around crypto trading and how to store your cryptocurrencies and of course, where to buy it from as well. So without further ado, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the content with people if you find some value from it. And if you don't, you can always spend your time in the comment section, leaving some hate comments. You can read them and have a good laugh. So this hidden Bitcoin bottoming pattern, revealing it to you all right now. We're looking at important dates, Bitcoin patterns, and then the weak versus strong in real time trade. Okay, so the hidden patterns, I like to look at dates and I also look at these on 50% levels. Dates are really important. We've covered this quite a few times before, but I don't think enough people give attention to it. It's not saying that these will always pull off on the exact date every single time. There is no exacts when it comes to trading, but we can see things that happen more often than not, just like we talk about with the month of September or quarter four having a really uh, strong month. And uh, in terms of September, it generally doesn't do as well. That's not something that happens every single September, but it happens enough times to put us on alert. And that's what I use these GAN seasonal dates for. And this might be a little bit more advanced for some people. But if you can get a bit of an idea of when these are happening, just keep a lookout for them. And I talk about these in more detail in the Investor Accelerator because this is a study of a lifetime. So if you want to get into it, drop your email address, free investor newsletter above here. So check that out. You can get a bit of an idea and update every couple of weeks. There is a link to this in the description down below right at the top there. So uh, check that out. And obviously we have the education program as well. But if you want to learn more about it, just free online, check out GAN Seasonal Dates. You might be wondering who is GAN. GAN is someone I talk about a lot. I would have a plaque of him at the back here. Um, we'll get onto that one day. Essentially, GAN was a very fantastic and uh, good trader of the nine, uh, early 1900s. So perhaps one of the most mysterious of all famous traders in, the, in history, known for using geometry, astrology, some people might hate on that already, and ancient mathematics. So there is science in this looking at the chart patterns. To predict events in the financial markets and historical events, Gann's trading strategies are still widely used today, long after his death. And one of his well-known articles, which came out to show the greatness of Gann, was written by none other than Richard D. Wyckoff. And you guys would know Wyckoff. You've probably seen this many, many times before. So Wyckoff followed Gann around to understand what Gann did, how he did it. And Wyckoff also put together his own schematics to understand the markets. And so in terms of what Gann was able to produce in this 25 market day period where Wyckoff followed him around writing an article for his magazine at that time in 1909, you can still find that online. You can read the whole thing. Uh, he went through and made 264 of these transactions resulted in profit. So he made a total of 286. 264 were profitable, 22 in losses. The capital with which he operated was doubled 10 times so that at the end of the month, he had 1,000% of his original margin. You want the original 1,000 Xs uh, or 1,000%. Gam was your man back in the day. So this is just to give you an idea of the level of trader that Gam was, or at least the level I believe he was and the, the details and the trading rules that I use from him. One of those that he has used is the dates. And the dates work out quite well also on these sorts of geometric tables. But we won't get too deep into this. We want to look at the charts. Now onto the charts. And this is Bitcoin. I've got alerts going off because Bitcoin is on the rise again. And I'm going to break this down. We're looking at the hidden bottoming pattern. So good timing. I guess that worked out quite well for the video that we see some alerts of Bitcoin going off. I'm just looking at Bitcoin breaking the 44,000. And it has done that on some of the exchanges, as we can see here. We got 44,200. I'm using the BLX, uh, which is a day old. We don't need today's data at this point for this table. So looking at the dates, Gam's talking about seasonal dates. 
seasonal dates are big, solstices, equinoxes. And I also look at what is happening on particular dates of the month. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 22nd, these dates come up a lot. And in particular for Bitcoin at the moment, that date happens a lot. Now, when I mix this with multiple other trading strategies or trading signals, it tends to work out pretty well in my favor. As I said, it's not a 100% guarantee, but I like to see volume. You hear me talk about that all the time. And then when the volume comes in, you go, wow, something actually happened. And you guys are really starting to notice that. And I am seeing your comments down below when you're paying attention to the volume, you're paying attention to any of your supports. Maybe that's 50%. Maybe that's your moving averages. And then you get reversal patterns come in as well. So maybe you're using candles. So you've got a nice reversal here. Dump day, huge volume, market is reversing. It can mean that the market will slow down and we just trickle down. It doesn't mean that we're going straight to new all-time highs from this point. I think many people who have been working with the charts for a while now understand that. But it's always good just to point that out because sometimes new people think, well, that has to be the exact bottom. We will never go below that price again. And we're only going to 65,000 and above within the next few days. That's not how it works. You can see that the markets tend to trend up and then we trend down, but we just want to make sure that we're not getting into some major downtrend and have our supports or our exit strategy in play as well. So let's stick with some of the dates. The seasonal stuff has been working quite well. So that's what I'm looking at when I'm talking about the hidden patterns revealed. I like to come back to the title as well because I don't want to be leading people on. But for me, this is very, very important. I like to look at around that 20th, 21st date as a low, as a bottoming pattern when it's used in conjunction with other signals. 21st, pink arrows are the areas of around that 18th to 23rd or 24th of the month. You can see we had another significant low before we moved into this fake out. That was in August. Let's go back one more month. July, July 20th was the low. And then the 21st had the big move out of there. You'd be happy, well, I would, to be buying on these dates. 20th, let's go again on June 22nd, which is a seasonal date as well. June 22nd, Gan talked about this. And remember, I showed you how old Gan was. He was trading this in the early 1900s, died in 1955, and these still work. May 19th, does it have to be on the exact 22nd? Not necessarily, but you just want to pay attention to around that point in time because the emotion in the market, if you've been paying attention over the last three days, as I pointed out in the intro, around that 72 hours, things will be getting crazy and we are basically on that 20th period. Now look at here, 23rd of May, you had that second attempt to come into the low. So there's still that extreme fear or that panic that the market should crash and it just didn't get there. So the 19th held up. We had another low on the 25th, so it was later in that period. But the big panic day was on the 18th, and there's also receipts on the channel for the 18th, looking at that first major breakdown from the all-time high. So the 18th had a major crash in it, and the trend reversed quite strongly. Let's go back to later in March, so the 25th. All right, it's not on the, the 20th or the 21st, but we got it on the 25th. What does Gan say? Around March 21st. Let's work back to February. So now I'm looking at just 30 day repeating patterns. So we've got the 28th, which is quite late in the month. So some would say, well, it's not valid. I would go back to these big fallout dates and that's around the 23rd. So this is when the, the emotions got extreme. If you were in the market in February, you would be panicked on the 22nd and 23rd because we just saw the market fall 5% and then another 10% after the market had just done this solid move up. Let's keep going back. January, January 22nd. The low came in back to December, December 21st. Another one again's dates right here. And some might say, well, that's not a big turn. The way I look at that, and this might get a little bit technical, is the market was in a very strong uptrend. It just started to kick out and this is all that we could reverse on. So I pay very close attention to that. And then from that point, that low, it was a solid, solid move up. And so if you keep looking at this all the way back, you get a lot of these turns. Now, not all of them work out and then you have to start to work with the market and what it's telling you. And the next thing I would probably layer into that, which needs a lot of attention and some time brought into the market is to understand the time or the sentiment of the market. This period of the market was different to this period. This was a lot of excitement, which was different to this period, which was the retail getting into the market, which was retail excitement and it just didn't go anywhere. And then we had this scare, the big panic. 
And then we had the reversal and then we had the complacency thinking we're going back to 65 Ks. And then we had the scare again, which looks similar to the Wall Street cheat sheet. So you can go through all of these emotions and start to layer them over the market and layering all these different ideas really starts to bring you closer to developing a plan or at least getting in sync with the market. Getting in sync with the market helps a lot. So to recap, going through the hidden Bitcoin bottoming pattern, because I've layered it with a few things and yes, it does come down to some experience as well in the market, being here for some time, you start to get a little bit more of a feel to it. Could this fail? Yes, everything can still fail. So you probably say, what the hell is the point? The point is you don't know what's coming on this side of the market and you just got to use what you've seen before to work multiple times to put or to swing the probabilities in your favor. Doesn't mean it works 100%, but I'm trying to swing those probabilities in my favor. That's all I'm doing here. And then I'm reacting to those as well. I've planned for it, looking at the market. Now I am putting it into action and hopefully it works out in my favor. If it doesn't, I don't think it could be too far off, especially with what I have seen. But of course, we will then cover that on the channel as well. We'll keep up to date with it. Now, looking at a couple of cryptocurrencies in terms of strong and weak, you can use the same deal. You can use the patterns, you can use the dates, you can use the timeframes. Uh, you can also use the pricing. And we're just looking at swings, lower swings, lower lows, lower highs, sorry, and lower lows. So I'm picking on one inch again, as we talked about it in yesterday's video. How does this relate to what we're looking at in terms of bottoming? Well, I want to see my lows hold. And if the major lows don't hold, then that would be a sign for me to possibly get out of that market and put my money into another crypto, which is performing a little better. Something like DOT looks quite different to me at the moment. You can see we've got higher lows forming and we have had higher highs form as well. And this is now above the 50% levels. Look at all these 50s. We have springboarded above those on some volume. Will that last? We'll wait and see, but at least I'm swinging the, uh, the probabilities in my favor because a lot of these strong patterns are coming my way compared to something like one inch, which unfortunately has been rejected off the 50%. So kind of a, well, it is a double top there, lower highs, lower lows, 50% level again is breaking down. It had its support and now it's broken down. For this to turn around, needs to get back above 50% and then back above the next 50% to get some strength in it. But at this point, DOT is holding its ground here. I'm layering this then on top of the Bitcoin chart, thinking that potentially this is a low. DOT in itself, maybe that's a better trade than something like a one inch. So if you're wanting to figure that out, check that out in your charts as well. This has been a massive video. I have thoroughly enjoyed putting it together and doing more research in to the livelihoods or the lives of Wyckoff and Gan. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let us know in the comments down below if you've been able to use this successfully or if you're um, wanting to get more involved in trading education, check out the link down below for the Investor Accelerator. We've got the free newsletter down there and also we've got 10% off on the Investor Accelerator premium membership. Use the code by the dip to get your 10% off until the 30th of September. I'll catch you guys on Instagram or on Twitter for daily crypto updates or at the next video as well. So make sure you hit the like and subs, get those YouTube numbers up and I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.